I don't think a figurative piece of this scale, of this complexity, in terms of figurative composition has been done in several hundred years. So right now we're not yet at the middle of sculpting a 58 and a half foot long relief panel that tells the story and the history of World War I through a soldier's journey. Uh, the process started back in 2015 and should culminate in 2023 or 2024. What is the purpose of this sculpture? It's to serve our country and serve the world and show what we can be as human beings. It's about rising up to the occasion. Well, the memorial is a park and the focus or central part of the park is a soldier's journey, the bronze wall. So the, the idea is not just a war memorial, it's also a story about the voyage of, that everybody partakes in their lifetime of leaving your place, transforming through your life, and then bringing that information on back to your society and to the next generation. This rich tradition of figurative art is not only for the artist in his studio. It's not a private occupation, but this is an occupation that serves a very broad audience. People come to Washington to see the history of this country. So the sculpture has to be understood by many types of people. In some ways for myself, having grown up in the Vietnam era is about healing and the idea of transformation. So how do you play forward a classical tradition of figurative art that's uh, been around for 2,000 years and make it contemporary? You use live models that are from today and posing in front of you. And that is what makes the difference because I'm not doing something that's archeological, I'm doing something that's present and I'm showing what World War I looked like 100 years ago.